Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we're going to be continuing with Raven Lost Stone Prophet first off tonight. However, uh, first first off, uh, I was constantly meaning to have a look at a map of Faerun and see whether I could find Ha'akia where our game is set on there sometime. And since I haven't gotten around to doing it when I'm not streaming, uh, we're going to be doing that now. So. Here's a map of Faerun, which I just found on Google, literally like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> I have had a look at these before. Um, let me just bring it up for my own benefit, because I can't view it in the little preview window. Okay, I'll try and move this around as I'm looking. Uh, right, so, well, that's Icewind Dale up there. I doubt where we are is over there. There's Netheril. Uh... I think, is that where Shadows of Undrin Tide takes place, or is that further south? Because it was the Netheril Empire which caused that desert to appear, because their big flying cities crashed into the ground or something like that. Can I see one of the cities there which you took place in? Uh, don't think I could see that. If we go further south, let me just... Blow this up a bit more. There we go. You can see Baldur's Gate along the coast there. Uh, I can't gesture to it, but it's... No, it's in the center of the screen right now. Um, and if you go from there, you'll see along the Kionthar River, River, um, Elturil, which is with the city where we started. Um, it's also the city where we started in... Strahd's possession. Apparently our heroes Yeah Well in their spare time are around there, so I don't know how much time has passed in between these two games. Uh, Candle keeps further down the coastline there. Athcatla, where Baldur's Gate 2 starts, is down there in Arm. Between the mountains there. Um if you remember my series where we did uh Pool of Radiance, that was located around here, near Cormia. Uh, we were... Where was that? It was around the Sea of Fallen Stars. Uh, what was the city which we were set in? Uh, hello, welcome, welcome. Just a moment. Just looking... Uh, New Sharshell. I think that was it. Over there, I think. Sharshell? Was that it? No, was... Uh, mm, anyway. Oh, there it is. Pardon me. It was up in the Moon Sea. There we go. Flan. And the ruins of Zentil Keep. So, this is later on. This is a uh, map made for 5th edition or something. So, apparently Zentil Keep's in the meantime has been destroyed. Uh, what's this? If I'm trying to locate where Ha'akia or Barovia would be from, they can come from any D&D &D setting. Oh, do they not have, like, a specific location? I kind of thought that. I mean, there's not too many deserts to look over, so... There's a plane of... Plane of purple dust over here. This is like... There we go. <laughs> this is getting into areas which I don't know whether there's been any games based on these areas. Most of it takes place over the other on the west coast area. Uh, there's that massive hole there, apparently. The Underchasm. I think I've read about that. I think it's like... I don't know. Caused by some god, and it just tore a hole open in the ground all the way down into the Underdark, so... That's fun. Did Vale... Of the Talon, Agab. Yeah, no, I'm not really seeing anything. Ravenloft is a demi plane that grants places from all other planes. Okay, so I mean, I know Haakia Desert, where we are, isn't necessarily located in Faerun, but I was just going to have a look and see whether it might have been taken from around here somewhere. Just looking over here at the moment. There's Kalimshan. Tethia. But yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. You know, there was one place that was taken from 
Athos, so Dark Sun City. There's been at least guy from one one guy from Crin. Yeah, I remember in Baldur's Gate 2 you came across some Knights of Crin? I forget what they were, if what their order was from, but they were uh, knights from the Dragonlance setting. You had to open up a portal for them to go back home. They always stuck with me. There was also in the same area, there were some of the ha cannibalistic halflings for Dark Sun there. I really sh I need to play um, one of the RPGs set in the Dark Sun setting. It seems quite neat. Uh, neat ideas, along with like Spelljammer. I think they could do with a lot with those. Uh, not really seeing anything else around here though. Hmm. Guess it's not actually as big as you'd think. Except this one was a massive hole in it. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. That was just a thought that maybe it was taken from somewhere. Eh. If not, then, you know. That's fine. Let's get on with the game then. I satisfy my own curiosity. Nope. Before that no, 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 no. No one Why you started knows. this? Yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> quick. Stop monologuing at me. Pardon me. Dark Sun Chattered Lands. Yeah, I think... Oh, boy. Uh, we're getting right into it. More of these death heads around. I think Dark Sun Chattered Lands is probably the one which I've seen with the cover which uses I think the rule book artwork or something put in front of it. Hold on. I have to adjust mic and all that. Okay. There we go. Right. How do I deal with these again? Magic magic missile then? Ow. What do you Hello. There you are. Uh. <laughs> Dodged it. Okay, let's rest. Yep. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad that it, it seems like we can't get jumped by enemies while we're sleeping. That's good. Get over there. Uh. Don't worry. I was just getting rid of something on my desk. Um. <laughs> Nothing living. An inanimate object. It was in the way. Uh, let's have a look. Ah. Okay, careful, careful. That was a fantastic magic missile. Uh, I guess we'll chuck a five. Yeah. Ooh. Ow! Well, the lightning doesn't do too much damage, so it's not that bad. It's more the principle of the thing. <laughs> I can try and dodge it. I'd like to. Uh, you can have your rest interrupted but mostly outside your rest has been disrupted a few times by desert zombies scaring me with their screams yes well <laughs> i think if anything those those damn loud zombies would certainly interrupt someone's rest it's amazing how loud they can scream considering they probably don't have vocal cords That lightning bolt came around the corner for me. Okay, there we go. Prayer again. Now, where are we going? Uh, oh yes, we were going up into this area, weren't we? Because I had opened a door here? I think I had, something like that. Oh, well, let's keep going up this way. And there's going to be a lot of these death heads. We've used detect monster. Speaking of which, I should take that. 
wand off of you. Hey, a key. Silver star key. Cool, cool. What's this do? Uh, something. Okay. Ooh, there's a portal. Okay. Where's this going? Ah! Get out of here. Damn it. I tried to back up into a portal, but there wasn't one behind me. No, there's not one behind me. There's one of you behind me. No. Back up into a portal. Back up into another death head. Okay. Are you going to poke your uh, head around the corner? There we go. Okay. Ow. I went into stepping mode so I could get a clean line of uh, fire towards them. That way they wouldn't be like inching around the corner and shooting me while I couldn't shoot them because they were half behind the wall or something. There we go. Tactics, such as they are. <laughs> because as soon as you turn this on, all the enemies are here to the grid too. Oh, a box. What's in the box? A piece of paper. Where's my box which has all my pieces of paper in it? Nope. Uh, this one. There we go. Do I have all these pieces? Um... Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like a corner there as well. Oh, but the text is a different color. So maybe not. But the text is purple on here, so... Glue it together! Let's see if I combine, combine them outside of the box. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Be able to do something with that. Do I have to put it into his hand? Let's see. Let's be thorough about this. Oh, because he can't read a piece of paper with uh four ha with a with a two-handed weapon. Here we go. Oh, okay. So here's the uh, translation thing. The wrath of the guardian of loot shall be restored. The fate. The foes are led, judge them by... Oh, this is just like what the symbols mean. Yep, yeah, okay. <clears throat> they captured the seal beyond. Ooh. They're not all stuck together! Ah! Oh. Come on! I have to keep them all out. Uh, right. Well, is there another one over here? Nope. We have another piece of paper which we need to find a other parts for. I think was it the blue one? Yeah, these ones. So. Uh, right. So what do we do? We got the key, which 
which will allow us to go into another area. Let's see, is there a door up here? There is! Aha! Also, I'm kind of tempted to have a look at that uh, hieroglyphics I had beforehand and see whether I can make any sense of them now. Okay. Pardon me a moment. Uh, I am going to just go get that. Now, where did I put it? Did I put it in the games folder? Uh, no. Okay, so then it will be in here. Uh, oh, right, yes, I put it into... Uh, not there. Right here. There we go. Okay, so... Hold on, we are getting images. Uh... Okay. That should be up on the screen. Is it too big? Hold on a moment. Add, Add. image. Yep. Browse. There. There we go. Okay, so people who watched the first episode will remember this. This is from the intro. And uh, I wrote down... I was using Wikipedia to try and figure out what the um, hieroglyphics might mean. But uh, since this game has got its own translations, I'm guessing it's not going to be completely correct. So, let's see. Can I figure out what this says now? It might just say the Stone Prophet, but hey. Uh, so the first one's like, I guess a combination of three symbols. I'm not really seeing it there. Uh, no. Am I seeing any of these on here? Uh, arrows. No be opened? Maybe, but it's missing the little line on the bottom there. No, not that. Eh. Uh. Eh. Okay, fine. None of it's really matching up. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I'm not expecting it to say anything dramatic, it's just, I don't know. I'd like to figure out what it was, what it would say. Ooh, ow! Yes. Okay. You, get out of here. Yeah. More of them around here, aren't we? Oh, my zoom's all screen's all zoomed in. Pardon. Teach me from messing around with things. Why is it going and doing that? Then? I really changed the size. Maybe I've done that. <laughs> ah. There we go. Pardon, and thank you for mentioning that. Get out of here, you. Oh, we need to cast a spiritual hammer. No, I actually, I don't want to fight you immediately because you poison, don't you? Ooh, another one. 
Well, that's good. I kind of prefer you from the death's heads. You don't chuck li ah! lightning bolts. Ow. Die, oh, hello. We just had to do a full 360 before we saw them. Get out of here. Code of cold. I'm guessing I'm in one of those places I couldn't get to before. Yep. Okie dokie. Can I see the hole in the roof? No, I can't. Uh, okay. Can I rest? Yep. Good. <laughs> Dive. Where? There's a bit of a diversion at the moment. We're having to. through floor three, which we've already done. Uh, ugh. But these minotaurs are easy. One of these walls seems well unusual. You mean the one we just bumped into? <laughs> and I'm back. Ah, yes. Oh, hello, there's minotaurs in that wall. Do you have minotaurs in your walls? They were just... Stuck in here? <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why that was there. So that you see that minotaur around the corner back up and go... <laughs> hmm. Okay, so there's a... Portal there. Uh... Let me just go check to see whether there's any invisible wall, uh, secret walls along here. Doesn't seem like it. Let's check again. Bump, 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 bump. Nope. Okay. Go around and through here. Right. Are we in the new place? Oh, it teleported us back here, back up here. How kind of them. Oh, there's a button. What'd that do? Uh. Hmm. Water skin. Don't need that. Hang on, what's that? Oh, I thought that was like a magic staff or something. It is not. Are there any other death heads around here? Ooh. Ointment. Eat water skin. <laughs> drink water skin? I guess you can't drink the water skin. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Code of Cold works against these things. Or just frost damage in general. Ow. Heal him. Heal tiger guy. Rock tour. Ow! There we go. Oh. Let's rest. Oh, we can't. Okay. There's one behind me, isn't there? Back up, 
Back up, back up. Are we far away enough? <laughs> Go all the way over here. Go upstairs. And rest. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Prayer time. In your playthroughs, you always take all the extra items to Bulhar as a show of good faith. Gives them a bit of wealth. <laughs> you like dump all the uh, like water skins all over there, all the, all over the floors in their rooms or something. Whew. Like that poor guy we did in Trans Possession. He was actually a merchant, so it worked out in the end, I imagine. But uh, his house ended up with so much stuff all over the floor. Get out of here. A potion. Ooh, plug. No, don't wield that. No. Hmm. There's some things there. There's some items over there. What's that? It is a water skin, a potion of fire resistance. We're getting a lot of these other potions. White robes, not magical. A quarter staff. I'm going to guess it's not magical. Uh, put those in there. Kind of want to keep that out. That might be useful for something else. Wrong thing. Yeah, we've got four of those potions of fire resistance. If we need fire resistance, we'll be all set. Pick it up. Detect magic. Nope. Not magical. Not magical. And you can go over there as well. <laughs> be gone! I don't want to see you. Or you. Oh, hello. Are you in league with each other? Duh. No, you don't. I actually scuttle across, scuttle across the floor pretty quickly. Enemies still. Okay, so there's one there, there's four down there. Okay. Oh, I can see them! I'm oh, sorry, what was that noise? Gain's making weird sounds. Makes me worried. With how much spell casting our mage does, all the other characters here are just along for the trip. Just sit back while the mage casts Cone of Cold, Fireball, Magic Missile, and whatever else at any enemies. Agatha's a Scorcher, which I'm still not that impressed by. It's it's really not doing as much as some of the other spells are. Neither's really Ice Storm. Seems like they resist it all the time. Ugh. Flame strike. Get out of here. Okay, heal you a bit. Time for anointment. I didn't want, didn't want that in there. Lug. Okay. <sighs> Or enemies. 
Back up the stairs, we'll rest again. Stairs are here. Ah! <laughs> why do those hole why does that have hole have to be right up the top of the stairs? Okay, go up the stairs, but carefully this time. Ah! Fine. I'll just rest here before I kill all my characters from falling down the damn hole. <laughs> They're just going up the stairs, falling down the hole, going up the stairs again, falling down the hole. That's the third time I've done it. We did that once in the last stream. Ugh. Developers knew what they were doing when they did that. Ow! Viruses protects from fireballs. It's true, though I'm not getting hit by fire my own fireballs, and the enemies aren't casting them yet, so. Agonizer Scorch is perfect for those situations where there's multiple enemies in line since it goes through the wall. Yeah, Flesh do I? Dust, oh. Stone to yes, sand. Yes. Time buries all. Angry Intruder, voice. the hour of your fall has come. Kind of cold. Like. Get out of here. It's a halberd. Uh, oh, you can't use that because you're a cleric. Aren't you? Our coagulation. Put those in there. Uh, what's this? Now. Water skin. It's probably what I've chucked around. Potion of extra healing. Sure. A potion of healing. Water skin. There's some items over here. Oh, that's that. Okay. Uh, let me go up here. Check this. Get. There we go. There's more water skins. There's a lot of water in this obelisk. Um. Right, there's no buttons to open that door there. Not doing anything? No. There's stuff over there, but I can't go around this hole. Even though there's a large gap there, this hole is essentially as big as the tile. So. It's a mini black hole. As Flesh soon as we get dust. near it, it just sucks everyone Stone into it. To sand. Time buries all. There's nothing Intruder, up there. Intruder, the hour of your fall has come. Yes, yes. Die when I play, mortal! Nope. Yep. Die by my fireball! Uh... Whew. Creature? Whew. There you go. Punch him! Punch him into vulnerables. Vulnerables. Would Scorpion men have vulnerables? Thought probably best not thought about. I could go over the hole if I had a flying potion or a spell. Yeah. Do I have a spell for it? The game does add, has added some new spells. Uh, our lion lad has, uh, our lion lad has a jump spell. Fire seed, heal, harm. Detect pits. Well, we know it's there. We've fall fallen down at once. Um. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. But I'm guessing his jump ability doesn't apply for the whole party. Unless it does. Attempts to jump, but there is no room in this area. <laughs> he bonks his head on the roof. Okay. 
so we can't jump over it just because we're inside that really limits the use of usefulness of the spell if that's the case most of the time the pits you'd see would be inside i'd imagine though again i could be jumping to conclusions actually if the pits around here there's probably buttons on the walls to make the pits disappear what's this dust of disappearance huh two lots i'm guessing that's going to be like the thief ability hide in shadows uh nothing there ah! damn it well this is a new area that's not too bad Something died there. Was there supposed to be a minotaur here, but they spawned it inside the statue and it got killed or something? Is there nothing in here? No, there isn't. There's some... Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, there's just two water skins. Okay. It puts me back up here. Okay. Uh, let me check... Okay, I think I want to fall down that one. Don't break your necks. Ah! Die, mortal. Whack. No. Oh, there's three of you. Well, that was useless. I filled out the map. I feel happy about that, but um, there's absolutely nothing in here. They just made far too many of these Minotaurs, didn't they? And they didn't know what to do with them. We filled up all the runes with Minotaurs. What do we do? Uh, just shove them in holes in the walls. I don't know. <laughs> Cram the obelisk full of Minotaurs. Why do we get so many anyway? I don't know. Frank really likes them. How come I can see into that room? And yes, I'm saying there was a, uh, I don't know. Ancient Harakiri <laughs> priest. Hmm. Oh. What that do? I think. Okay. Yeah. I'm really not seeing what that's doing. If anything, it might be I have to press that along with some other buttons. One out of six pressed. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that opened up down there. Okay. Wrong room. Ow. Uh, that one did up there. Yes, 
hello. Is this the right room? Hey, another box. Another piece of paper. Uh, which one's my boxes? My pieces of paper in it. Yeah, put... Hang on. If only I could, like, color code these, or put, like, a little colored icon next to them. I can say, like, oh, this is, you know, this box has a yellow dot on it. That way, it I know it's uh, for potions, because potions have, are yellow, or whatever color association you want for the certain items. I know I can put bags into my turn. There. Okay. Uh, wait, hang on. Hold up, hold up. There we go. <laughs> okay, this chest here has got the scrolls in it. I'm going to surround it with paper, that way I know. What's in there? Ah. Do I need these water skins? No. Let's drop them on them. And I'm going to drop what's-his-name's Piotr's sister's clothing on the floor because he didn't want it, he didn't take it, so it's no- so long- so it's now just dead weight. Okay. Hey, inventory management. But it needs to be done. There we go. It's not that bad either. It's not like inventory Tetris. <laughs> That's always fun. I don't know. I do kind of find the whole organizing your inventory slightly cathartic, though also annoying. <laughs> Complex multiple emotions. Okay, so I press that down there. Though I do appreciate games which have an automatic inventory shuffle, like, uh, Grim Dawn. But it doesn't always do it properly. It's not, like, the most effective use of space all the time. I'll just take that hit. Is there anything in there? Nope. What's in here? Uh, prayer. There's a chest. Does this have another piece of paper in it? It does! Wow. So many pieces of paper. Okay, uh, what can we learn from this? Don't think I haven't noticed that these pieces of paper are the same. They've just reversed them. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, it's more, uh... Okay. It's more, um... Yeah, translations. Ugtapot has its own hieroglyph. And yeah, I'm not seeing any of the symbols which I was looking for on here, so... At least one or two which came to mind. There is R opened down there. But... I think I'll give trying to translate that thing a rest. <laughs> um. Ah. Okay. Is there any buttons in here? Nope. Okay. Ah! 
We've been down here already. There we go. Not the most elegant way to leave a room. So, I mean, now what? There's this room, that room, that room. I haven't been into those. And I haven't been into there. Hang, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh. Oh, well, that answers that one. There was a button in front of the door. Just charge headlong into it and... Solve the problem. What's in here? A ring. A ring of protection. Uh, you could have that. Can't wear two at a time. You're not getting the benefits of that. Is that because of your armor? I guess so? Doesn't a ring of protection stack with armor? Oh, I guess not. Okay. I can give it to you. That would lower your... Oh, you've also got... You're also over-encumbered. Um, that would give you one less AC. And I don't think these wings of wizard... Rings of wizardry stack. So I think I'll just get rid of them. Oh, but it's not magical. Um... Get rid of some of these chests, too. Because, let's see, the wing rings of wizardry, they give you an extra slot for spells. I think, is it level three? You've got eight there. So what was it? Four, four, eight. Four, four, eight. Four, four, one. Oh, you can learn a level six spell. Hey, how about that? Good thing I checked. Okay, so it's not giving you more spells. They don't stack. We'll give you your ring of protection then. However, since you've gone up a level, uh, let's get you to memorize some spells. Got four magic missiles, that's fine. Improved identify and three agonizer scorchers. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep them. Is ice knife, ice knife a ranged spell? I don't think that was present in Baldur's Gate, so I can't check my manual there to get the generals of it. I think it was something in Icewind Dale 2, but... I think it fires like a dagger of ice at the target. Uh, it's a level 2 spell. Ghoul touch. Horror. Visibility. Knock. No alignment. Luck. Mirror image. Resist fear. Thinking cloud, strength, vocalize, web. Oh yeah, <laughs> vocalize, in case you're uh, muted. Okay. I think it's a ranged spell, but oh, we'll keep Agonizer Scorcher. Um, level three, what have we got? Four fireballs. Uh, eight max and I've got four fireballs. What is this? Uh, I can learn lightning bolts. Haste. And we don't have to worry about age in this game. So I could hasten my people on front line. Though we're not fighting too much in melee. It's mostly just chucking spells at people. Two more fireballs. And I guess some lightning bolts. Um, just eight fireballs. Wham, wham, wham. One after another. Uh, Wizard's Eye? I think that will allow us to see hidden secret walls and all that. Hold monster? No. Get another code of cold. And level 6. Claws of the Umberhulk. Death spell. Dragon scales. Lich touch. Otolux freezing sphere. And true seeing. Otolux freezing sphere. I think that's like a fireball but it does frost damage. Lich touch. 
I think is that a save versus death? And probably take damage on a failed save on a on a successful save. Maybe you I don't know. I don't think it would do level drain. It might paralyze on touch. Dragon scales, I'm assuming it gives like fire resistance and lowers your AC. Death spell. Is that like power word death? Where it's just any creature which you have line of sight to has to make a save versus death or die. Claws of the Umberhulk. I think that just gives him magical attacks for melee weapon. Um, don't know if it gives anything, any effects on top of that. You'd think confusion because of Umberhulk's, but that's not because of the Umberhulk's claws. That's because of the Umberhulk's uh, gaze. So I'll probably get true seeing if that will allow us to see hidden things. Go. Denvi's getting pretty powerful. What rank is he anyway? Level 12. Lawful neutral mage. Uh, you're level 11, level 9, level 8, 8. Ooh, right. You could also. Nope. Let's see. Trajan Kent. Gonna learn some more spells. Uh, I haven't got any of your spells memorized. Oh dear. Um. Won't get bless. Get to create water, I suppose. Just in case Feeks used all of hers. Not that we will ever have that problem. Uh, invisibility to one dead. That could be useful. I might have to memorize four of those, one for each person. We don't need light, since we've gotten that spell, which is uh, uh, that helmet, which is the helmet of brilliance. Protection from evil. Feeks got some of those memorized. In case we come across any creatures which drain level. No, that's the negative plane protection. Protection from evil just... I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> Makes it harder for evil creatures to hit you? Guess I'll get some cure light wounds. Uh, level three. Oh, level two. Let's see. Hmm. We'll get a spiritual hammer, a flame blade. Actually, I'll just get a flame blade. And... I know what I'll get level four. I'll get the neutralized poisons. We'll get a prayer. Will we come across any diseases we'll have to cure? I mean disease on touch, but I uh, don't think we see them until the end of the game. Get spiritual hammer then, and uh, more strength. I guess. I think these only apply to the caster, so they're not... Or maybe draw dexterity. What's his lowest ability? What's his lowest stat? I'm gonna have to have a look at that. Um... Yeah, get a prayer. Make it a plane protection, cure disease. Ugh. Summon insects? <laughs> Send swarms of bees after people. And that's fine. Okay. Rest. Let's see. Where? Oh, the wrong person. Uh, because wait, hang on. You are a fighter. Yeah, that's right. That little. Yep. This was just. That's just innate abilities. Oh yeah, it's just a swarm of bees. Ah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the bees have turned on me. Okay. Well, I know that can happen now. <laughs> that might be useful. Oh, they're still there. Okay, 
we'll just we'll just leave them to their business. Was there a uh No, I didn't think there was a uh Oh no there is. Oh no there isn't. I thought this here was a pressure plate. But the floor's weird, look at that, it's like moving separate from the walls. So how do I open this? True C! <coughs> oh! Do I have to make that noise? Guess we have to pass by things to be able to see. Be nice if it added like... Buttons on the map. Can't fire all the doors open. Looking on the pillows for any buttons which I've missed. Or something. Um, doesn't seem to have done anything. Ow. Another one. Nope. Oh, that actually. That's opening and closing there. Okay. Okay, what was I going to do? Ah, oh, yes, I was going to check walls along here. Nothing there. Go around that. Nothing along there. I was thinking one of these walls might be a... There might be a button in here which gets rid of that. Unless there's something along there. Hmm. I felt like I went into a bunch of these rooms and I didn't achieve anything. Like, usually, in my mind, if you open a room, there's going to be something in there which helps you open up other rooms, if there's room, other locked rooms. Either a button. Did that make a up door? Disappear? No. Hmm. Nothing there. A 
been up there. There's nothing there. Oh, hang on. I did press that. Oh, there we go. That got rid of that, uh... Pit. Nice. Uh, is this a room? It is. Okay, so what's in here? Rocks. A magical rock. Rock. A shield. Not just any rock. A warhammer! Hey! A blood weapon for Feek, finally! In the second dungeon of the game. Took a while. Hopefully it's a magical warhammer. Pick up this magical stone, in, I guess, as well. It, it, it is glowing. Okay, let's see. Uh, detect magic. Please say it's magical. Please say it's magical. Oh, oh well. You've got a weapon, Feek. And what is this magical stone? It's a magical stone plus one. Wonderful. What's that mean? Do we throw it? Uh, is it a sling stone? <laughs> I clump someone over the head with a stone. Well, I, I guess if you do, you do that. And it's like... Just magical damage. <laughs> Whoopee! Clerical scroll of magical stones. Oh, I see. These other stones here are just... They just... The magic just wore off. And one of them turned into a water skin. Okay. Yay. Let's take our magical stone. Was this... Fair. Well, I, I'm glad I got the hammer. Um, what's the warhammer do? The damage. Two to five, one to four. Okay. Is there any buttons in here? No. Still there. And up there. Okay, let's have a look at some of these other rooms I've already been in. What that do? Something. Hang on, hang on. There's no button in here, was there? Nope. Wasn't anything in here. Apart from my bees. Nope. Ah! ah! A pit. Again. Rest up. Nothing there. Let me check this other room again. What that do? Hey, that opened the door. I really miss that. And the other button as well. Been into those rooms, I thought, a few times. The uh, pressure plates on the ground are really easy to miss, I felt. Like they blend in well with the floor. Warhammer! Ha ha! First blood, uh, skull, lightning, whatever.
Potion of extra healing. A mage scroll of protection from evil, 10 foot radius. Okay. Uh, pass prey. What's that do? I don't know, but up there. Oh, it actually also got rid of the uh, pit in front of that door. Let's go over there. So what was in here? I've been in here, haven't I? Eh, whatever. Uh, I wanted to go in to this room. Hey! Look at all these fireballs I've got for you. What about a lightning bolt? I guess if you chuck fire with lightning bolts, you're probably resistant to lightning. There we go. Okay. Uh, water skin. There's another water skin behind that. Bars. Okay. And a made scroll of flaming sphere. Yay. Ah, uh, some spells, anyway. Okay, I think we've uh, thoroughly plundered this area. I don't think there's any places where we haven't been. There's a little bit there, but since that's right up against the walls, that's just going to be solid wall. Uh, there's areas around there I still haven't been to. And I don't... I'm pretty sure there is stuff here, because uh, I saw... Enemies over there on the map. If I dropped down, I went into here. Or over here, actually. Then I went around. There was that hole there. I don't think that led anywhere over there. Uh, to get into there, I had to drop down that hole. I said. Wasn't a hole up here for me to drop down. I checked this wall. Wasn't anything there. I'm pretty sure I checked along here and there and there. Uh, that's that's not where we are. Okay. I make that hole appear again. I get rid of it. Oh. Uh, there, wasn't it? If we can. There we go. Okay, everyone. Remember, when you land, bend your knees. That way you'll take less damage. Ah! You didn't. Eight. Nothing along there. Don't think there's any like hidden buttons on the walls either. Like that looks like it could be a switch, but it's not doing anything when I click on it. That's not either. Okay. And I think when we go around this corner, we go into here. There's nothing in here. This is just a little room which had the uh, two minotaurs in. Can't go there, there's a minotaur head. And up here is a portal. So... Yeah, I don't know about this and this.
There is an enemy there. And an enemy there. So there must be a way to get in there. I've checked along here too. Okay, if there's nothing along here... Could there be something there? No. Because this is the outer edge wall. That means there would have to be something here, which there can't be. Along here or here. I'm pretty sure I've checked along there too. Um, or you drop down from above. However, above there is... There? Let's see. I wish these lined up. Uh, not an easy way to line them up. Um, two, three, four, five. Why does that? Oh, that's just a. That's just how it visually appears for. Yeah. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was saying it looks a bit odd. Because it's got the door symbol there, it's missing the line there. I thought it was like, why haven't I explored this square? But it's just how the doors show up. Um, eight. So like there. If I wanted to drop down a hole, it would be around here. And the other one... Up there. Be around here. There's no holes there. Can't remember how you get into those places. Might have been hidden buttons. Hmm. Well, have a look again. Because I would like to... You know, thoroughly... Loot this place. If I can't, then eh, whatever. No big deal. Okay, so we'll... Go back upstairs. Go over here. Uh, not up there. Because we just fall down the hall again. We have to go... There was another series set of stairs, wasn't there? Here? Yes, here we go. Okay. So if we go around over here... Right, so... That's nothing. That's nothing. I haven't had any messages about hidden buttons. Let me in! I want whatever's in your room, unless it's like a water skin, then you can have it, I guess. Hold on. I just want to... Check what the manual says about those two spells. Uh, let's see. Uh, that spell, Wizard's Eye, and also uh, the other one I cast earlier. True seeing. Uh, one of them probably only allows you to see invisible units, enemies. Uh, Wizard's Eye. Ha'akir is a dangerous land. Once 
one where the ability to scout ahead is often the difference yeah, yeah. the mage creates an invisible eye which can travel in any direction as long as the spell lasts oh okay so it's just like i have kill rogue um true seeing mage can see things as they really are your mage is not fooled by illusionary walls and invisible monsters items and magical effects become visible Okay. Well, that's nice. So uh, I want to be casting true see, true seeing. Just. Just. This one. <laughs> oh. Don't get messages for invisible buttons that just camouflaged into the walls. Meh. Okay. I mean, the button might not actually be near the wall it activates. Thing is, I wouldn't know what I'm looking for. They're usually just like a little nook out of the corner of the wall. Which you click. But I haven't seen any yet. Don't know whether they're built into these frescoes either. Well, we know at least that there's no walls there. And it says it shows invisible monsters. It's not like the wand of monster enemy detection. So. I wonder if that wand's got limited charges. I'd imagine so. Nice if it didn't. Quite useful. Um. Oh. Yeah, right. That's what that does. Causes magical bolts to be fired at us. Anything around here? Oh. Ow. does it last? It's still on. Okay. Hang on. Was that a room I missed? Hey, hey. Oh yeah, it is. Look, look at that. It actually makes it semi-transparent. Nice. Ooh. Hey. Cool. Okay. Progress. Damn it. Negative plane protection. Sure. Oh. <laughs> it's got that kind of problem with the mouse where it's moving faster on the horizontal axis than on the vertical axis. So. Uh, anyway. That's, uh, that's, that's the uh, reason I'm... That's, that's why... That's the excuse I'm giving for my misclicks there. You're just going to have to accept it. That is all, all responsibility. Just to, ooh. Oh no, have we released Minotaurs? We have. Lightning bolt. Uh, ooh, there looks to be a pile of stuff there. You don't think this one has level drainers? Oh, sh <laughs> that was completely on purpose. <laughs> uh, I'll sit there. 
Ow. Is there a button in here? No, okay. That's not a button. Nope. I did press those two things. Um, but that opened those two doors. Nothing in there. If I press these again, will it just close the same two doors? No. No, that closed that one. Oh, it takes some time for them to open and close. Okay. Fine. I mean, that was a little bit of extra room, but nothing fantastic. Okay, okay. Run! There we go. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Well, I don't know. Eh, whatever. It'll just be one of those things. Mm, now, how do I get back up to level one? Uh. <sighs> uh, where did I come down originally? Oh, that's right. Yep. Just around the corner. That's why you should always label your uh, stairs so you know where to go. <laughs> Just use the teleport key for the obelisk. I could. Ow. But we're finding our way out of foot. <laughs> I've chosen a path, and this is the one we're taking. <laughs> Ow, damn it. Uh, yeah, I went all the way around there. That's where I kept going up and falling down again. Okay, just behind us. Okay, so we got scrolls. It will help us translate this. Oh, it's going to do it that way, is it? Oh boy. Right, well, ahem. Um, piece of paper. Let's see them. Actually. Hold on a moment, let me do this. We go, I'm going to use the power of technology. I'm not going to look it up. I'm going to sort it out myself. Um, let me do this. Open that. Open the old paint. Copy that there. Over there. Okay. And save it in
there. Go back in here. Look at this. Print. At least I'll be able to show this off. So that. Yeah. Oh, right. People can see. Roots of it all. Apparently, it should translate it automatically. <laughs> We've gone too far, though, damn it. Uh. Okay. Just. Get out of that. <laughs> I copy and pasted both of the uh, translations thing. I was going to translate it, but if it translates it when I'm holding the pieces of paper, do I need to hold both of them? I might need to. Oh? No? Do I have to click the piece of paper on the wall? Hmm. Throw the paper at the wall, that'll work. Whew. Ah, we can get good distance on that piece of paper. I feel like these should all combine together. At some point. Can't combine them by having them with having them in my hands. Do I have to get all my party members to hold an individual piece of paper? Hold each piece of paper. Um, fine. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll do what my original plan was. So we enlarge that. Go here. That's uh, that for. Go. This. Down. Okay. You get. This one, red, okay, there, there we go, okay, here's the screenshots I took, right, uh, let me see, eh, uh, still kind of small, I might have to shrink this one down again, sorry if it makes things hard to see but I'm seeing it in my capture uh, for these extra translations so I'm working off of the uh, actual game box there for the uh, other symbols okay let's see the first bit is hot gales Uh, and the next one is sand rise going up here. Uh, this one. Is okay. The wrath of Unctopod 
I know that one. Yeah, that's angled pot. And this one is a little fire. And Burns the land, sure. <laughs> um, this is taking a while. Let me just have a look and uh, let's see. Uh, Raven, Loft, Stone, Prophet, Obelisk. I just want to see whether it is supposed to be able to do it automatically or something. I could just look up the clue book that would have it in there, but... Okay, um, apparently it doesn't, the one which I looked at doesn't say anything about them combining. Uh, let me just have a look at the blue book then. Should I sit here and translate it all or should I just look at the clue book? I feel like I should just look at the clue book. As much fun as I would have <laughs> translating it all out by hand. It would take a while. Um... I at least want to know whether it's supposed to... ...do anything with the pieces of paper other than just... Because if it's supposed to, like, activate something once I've translated it, then... ...I don't want to miss that. Uh, but if it's just I know something now, which I wouldn't have before... Ooh, I can actually... I can't... Okay. Hold on, I'm just looking at the... Oh. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Right. I think I'll just translate it myself. That's, um, I think I'll just translate it using the guide. However, I've also looked at the guide. Cheating! And, uh... I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> um... Maximize. There we go. Okay. I did actually see how we're supposed to get into that room. If we go down. It doesn't seem like there's that much in there. Um, but for completion's sake. Uh, okay. Right. So we need to go. Uh down which means this one I think yep. and from here go down here and once here we go this way over here <clears throat> And we have to go over to here. 
And this button here, uh, we press it, causes a pit to appear here. I think I pressed that button and I didn't realise what it did because I hadn't explored up here beforehand. So, fall down the hole. And we're in that room now. Nice. And there are some things here. It's abandoned mail. Some powder coagulation, a broadsword, and a water skin. And there's a button which lets us get out. Thankfully. Oh, that's what that small room there is for. Okay. That's how it all works. It all fits together. Um so I believe this banded mail is magical. But the uh Broadsword is a broadsword, yeah. Banded mail is banded mail plus one. Which, you know, it's not as good as what we've got. And a broadsword, eh, whatever. Okay, but, you know, there we go. That's how we get into that room. I think this is a shield. Eh, it's just a shield. <laughs> it is a shield. Okay, let's go back down. Actually, we could do what was suggested before. And teleport our way out of here. And then go back in. Oh. I don't know how we're getting in here. Are we just touching it and teleporting underground or something? Okay. So this. I'll just get the clue book. What's it say? <clears throat> Hot gales, the sands arise. Uh, let me just... Really shouldn't do that. I should stop resizing it because I just have to resize it again after. Okay, there we go. Hot gales, the sands arise, flesh corrupts and falls away. These are the signs of their coming. The wrath of Agdapot burns the land. Who hopes to rule must lure the evil to him. In the ancient burial hall, the guardian of the gate of the dead awaits. She shall judge them by deeds both good and bad. Her son, the sweet lute, did play. This gentle music, the ghost awaits. To the priest, the mystic urn is given. The temple of harvest shall be restored. Beyond the gate of the dead he awaits, the soul of the stranger knows the way. Master of the winged wind, the three signals, the whistle sounds, summoning forth the falcon. The eight tears shall fall, Ra weeps, and the stone shatters, a fragment of the seal is revealed. They capture the sun, and in a coffer hold the might of Ra. By its light the soul and the seal are freed. Two seals, each in four pieces lie, piece to piece, the seals rejoined, two gates are opened. Into conflict, the foes are led, Unctopot and the other. When fall the will of when falls the wall of Ra, so shall the way be opened the way home. Okay. So yeah, I'm gathering each of these things as something which we have to do. Uh, I recognize some of this stuff. To the priest the mystic urn is given, the Temple of Harvest shall be restored. Uh, we have already been there. The Temple of Harvest would have been there, and there's an old man in there, and he mentioned something about a mystic urn, I guess. I actually kind of forgot what he was talking about, so... <laughs> it's nice to have a uh, refresher on what we're supposed to be doing with him. Uh, so, also, we have to find a loot to play to a ghost. Uh... Let's see. In the ancient burial halls, the guardian of the gate of the dead awaits. She shall judge them by deeds both good and bad. Her son, the sweet lute, did play this gentle music. The ghost awaits. Is the ghost the son? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, master of the winged winds, three signals, the whistle sounds, summoning forth the falcon. Okay. We need a whistle or something. The eight tears shall fall, Ra weeps and the stone shatters a fragment of the seal revealed oh that, yeah okay, that's just eight pieces of the seals 
because there's two seals which we need. Capture the sun in the coffer, hold the might of Ra by the li by its light, the soul and the seal are freed. Okay. Two seals, yes, yes, each in each in four pieces lie, piece to piece, the seals rejoined, two gates opened. Into conflict the flows a lead, unctopot and the other. When falls the wall of Ra, so shall the way be opened and the way home. Okay. And I kind of understand what it means by that last part, because I remember the ending of this, but... Okay, so that's what all that says. Right. Let's... Uh... Rest up. There we go. Also, we'll make a save, since we haven't saved in this, uh... whole thing. Obelisk. Done. I've been doing quick saves, so... Okay, um... Let's see... Where is my map? We have all these pieces of paper. Uh, uh, map of the obelisk, that's not what I want. Awakening Octopot. Scroll Sacrifice. Put all of our pieces of paper in here. Do I not have? There it is. Map of Harakir. Okay. Uh, right. So, if we have a look at the map, we have a few other places. Um, let's see. There's a place directly east of the obelisk. There's also that temple up there, but we were warned about that and it's got stone guardians around it. Maybe we should leave that for a bit later. Uh, there's also that pit with a snake symbol on it or whatever it is down there. I think that's where Praktur said he fought a bunch of desert trolls. And there's also that hut there with a guy who's got his arms above his head. Let's go have a look at those. Uh, this way. To the east. Always to the east. different music I just enjoy the music for a bit that's better I hadn't been too impressed by the music so far in this but this is a much more much more catchy oh geez that's a lot of them protocol oh no they're undead they're immune to cold. I'm immune to fireballs. Get out of here. Okay. The snake symbol is Temple of Set. Rock to a fort trolls up north. Um, okay. Well, we'll keep going the direction I'm going. I kind of want to bumble into things if I find out that it's too powerful. Then so be it. I'm not too fussed by, you know, muddling around. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the big bad wall. Let's not go through there. Ah! Ow! Hot! It's up here. I think I went past that place. Uh, mountains. Ooh. Yeah, get back down. Beaks showing the business to them. Ooh, hello. This is interesting. Mm. Sphinx teleport key. 
Oh, is that that? That's that angry face. That that angry sphinx face thing, or that grumpy sphinx face thing there. Okay. Oh, hello. What's up? Oh, it's a. Hello. You shall not pass. Approach not. Let your footfalls echo in my memory. Run away. You're missing your nose too. Seems to be a common problem with us. You speak a marvelous stone. Do you hear as well? What are you? It matters not what I may be. You shall not pass. Since before your father's fathers knew the sun, and before your race was born, I have held the way. None may pass. The secrets within are not yours to go. I beg to differ, but, you know, we'll see about that in time. I see. Is it your job, then, to house secrets to store knowledge of some sort? And if so, who is it you serve? If the ages have passed you by, the truth of this land must be clear to you. Answer us this. Who is it who keeps us here? Whose evil must we confront? Uh. Who is it you serve? In my stones, the will of the ancients lives. To house their secrets, I am charged. To keep their knowledge, I am charged. A place of magical studies, I was meant to be. Okay. Do people like climbing your mouth or something? Yeah, whose evil must we confront? In Harakir and to Harakir. Yet what ruler commands the shadows, the plotters, the enemies of his own house? I stood when Antipod took the seat of Pharaoh. I watched his grasp for immortality, his betrayal of Rome. These things are of no interest to me. Senet and Isu too have sought to rule. It is time, time which overcomes all. Only I shall last forever. If you were built to house secrets and to be a place of study, then some may pass. Some may pass. You could not have been built to refuse all entry. There is the eye, the eye, and the love. Those who know the answer to this riddle may pass. The answer to the riddle was lost before your father's fathers knew the sun. <laughs> Thus it is that none may pass. Go then to solve the riddle. Let your footfalls echo in my memory. Run away. Okay, fine. We'll go. <laughs> I like to have done like the front legs of it. It's just blocks there. Okay. Fine. Cool. Sphinx teleport stone. Uh, let me just shuffle some of this around. Okay. Trying to sneak up on me, son. I have a wing of Rizzardy and aren't using it on my mage. We've already got one. I don't believe they stack. I checked it earlier. So, oh, oh, oh. Going somewhere. Where's this? Desert of Harakir. Okay. Uh, I probably want to back up out of here, though. Yeah, let's, uh... We'll finish exploring this area before we go into another area. Oh! Beep. Beep. What's this? Wonder Fireballs. Hey, another one. Mage Scroll of Agonizer Scorcher. Eh. Already got it. And water. Fine, everyone can have a drink. 
You know, actual water tastes so much better than uh, magical water. The idea of making magical food and drink to me... I don't know. Part of me just thinks that it wouldn't work because it's magical. And so once you've eaten it, it would just disappear. Or it wouldn't, like, fulfill you as much as actual food. I seem to remember something like that. Is that from D&D or is that from another setting? Anyway. Anything up there? Magic can create permanent things. Yeah, uh, okay. I must be thinking of another setting or something. I wouldn't know which. Ultimate series you can create food. It's magic. That works. Ultimate 7 you create food and you create like loaves of bread and haunches of meat and they just drop onto the ground. Hang on. There was another zombie around here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. I'm rather hungry. Oh, very tasty. Get out of here. Dust devil. Get out of here. There we go. We're gonna map this desert out completely. Want to find any piles of loot which might be lying out in the desert. Okay, there's a little stack of stuff down here. Oop, past it. Right next to me, there it is. Main scroll of death spell. That spell is already known. Okay. That was a nice find. Extra healing. Extra healing. Anything else? Nope. Basic D&D has create food and water as first or second level cleric spell. There's even spells for creating huge feasts that do nothing else. Hmm. Yeah, okay. As I said, I must... I don't know. I must be thinking of another game, which... I, I... I... I don't know. A book I read or something, which... Has that explanation in it. I don't know. I keep thinking in my head about, uh... The Discworld book, Pyramids. I do recommend that, if you like... You know, Discworld. And, uh, sort of Egyptian stuff. It's a enjoyable read. Uh, what's this? Dark scroll of heal, create water. Okay. We might not actually get to another place tonight, but... Ooh, what's this? That's something. I guess that's what that... statue was showing up. Yeah. That's got a full... Not a full 360, but... Multiple angles to it. Neat statue. Get out of here. something? No. Arcuri red robe, water skins, royal burial hall, teleport key. Oh, okay. We don't really need to label what this is here, but uh, Oh, what's this? 
Let's create water was was first level, but there's create food and drink on third level. When the spell is cast, the priest causes food and water to appear. The food thus created is highly nourishing, if rather bland. Each cubic foot of the material sustains three human-sized creatures of one horse-sized creature for a full day. Food decays and becomes inedible within 24 hours, although it can be restored for another 24 hours by casting a purified food and water spell on them. Oh, okay. It just says... <laughs> I wonder what type of food it creates. The way it says, like... What does it say? A cubic foot. <laughs> just makes me think it's just creating, like, a massive block of tofu. <laughs> Or just some kind of, like, mass, which you're expected to chop hunks off of to eat or something. <laughs> oh, you know I can really hit this because your Warhammer isn't magical. I don't think your quarter sounds magical, is it? No, it isn't. Okay. Scorpions! Rest out in the desert again. There we go. Keep going south until we hit the corner. Get out of here. I see things out over there, and I'm like, I want to see what it is. But well, I'm pretty sure it's just bones. Can you imagine if they stuck an item out there, like a really good suit of armor or something, which you had to just dart out and get and run back or something. Ah! What's this? Oh, this would be the uh, Temple of Set. Yep. The place with the snake symbol on it. I was actually looking up at the different Egyptian gods, and I remember them, how the gods have their own, like, well, representations of what they looked like. Osiris is green. Thoth has, like, a Stork head or something like that. Ra has a falcon head. Set has... They're not actually sure what Set's represented by. Because it doesn't look like... From what I've read, it doesn't look like any of the depictions um, of creatures which Egyptians would usually have drawn. It kind of looks like a jackal, but the snout is all bent. So... That's, um... Ah. I just go in there. Yeah, no. I, I don't think I want to. I want to leave, please. Just for the moment, anyway. That looks mean. Like some kind of big fat snake thing. Do you not have a side? It doesn't have a side shot. This it only goes um, as far as this. Doesn't have a side on or a rear, rear view. Oh, is there a uh, teleport stone around here for this? Up there, perhaps? Uh, bunch of water skins and a. 
synth or something. Okay. Not going to be around the side of it. No. No. Okay. Bugs me that I can't go around the entirety of its perimeter. There's that wall of Ra's there. Oh, ow. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Get out of here. Okay. What this? Oh, this is the well. Okay. Don't need to go down there anymore. And we'll go north. What's that little pile of stuff over there? Nope, this pile. Uh, powder coagulation. Wand of enemy detection. Potion of fire resistance. That's pretty good. Uh, okay. Go east now. It's got to be incredibly hard on our people walking around this desert all the time. Uh. I mean, we could create water, but I'd imagine it's still extremely hard. Okay. Why do you find that screen really horrible and a bit aggravating? You do think it fits perfectly for the Dust Devils? It's got a nice amount of like... <laughs> Get out of here, you. It, it, it does have a certain... I don't know, windiness to it, I suppose, which is appropriate. It's got a lot of crackle to it, I think. So... The sounds in this game are fine. I think they suffer from quality of the recordings and the fact that they're so loud over everything else. I've got the sound right down. And they're still really loud, so. Anyway. Just piercing noises. There's another one? Nope. Okay. There's something there. Northeast. What's this pile? A Harakiri battle axe. Red robe. A shield. Gauntlets of dexterity. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I forgot uh, to check. Uh, that's everything. Okay. Uh, what is your dexterity? 17. 16, 17, because you've got gauntlets of dexterity on. 16, 16. 16, 16. 11, 11. Fine. Uh, actually, no one's going to benefit from the gauntlets of dexterity because you have to go up two points to be able to get any armor from it. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, you can wear them. Uh, are any of those magical?
I can't just I can just for the zombies. Okay. Can just click the enemies for attacks. I feel like I know I can. It just the game lags when I click on them. It it's weird. It's like it causes all the inputs to pause while I'm clicking on them, so it's easy to click down here because it doesn't pause things as much. When I'm clicking up here and it's like I'm clicking on them to attack and it's not just it's not just going through them every click I'm having I, 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 there's a disconnect between it it's difficult to explain I don't know why it's different from Strad's possession probably something to do with the cycles other than that the game runs fine from as far as I can tell but yeah, it's just... If I'm clicking on things immediately, I'll try and do it against a skeleton. If I can find one. No, oh, what's this? Uh, another obelisk. Okay. Oh, there's two hands sticking out of the ground. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I see a teleport stone around here. Two point system was in later editions. Okay. Ah. Let's see, I was clicking and there's like a big pause. It's like it's kind of running in turns. Rather than just attacking whenever people come off cooldown or something. Just to line you up. <laughs> Command Scorpion Bowling. There's lightning bolts. What was that? Was that my lightning bolt hitting a wall? Okay, we can show against this. If I click. You can see how like... Animations are pausing. Whereas if I do this, it doesn't. So, I don't know what that's up, what's up with that. It just makes everything feel laggy and like I don't have and hard, like it's harder to respond to things. Oh, there's a square missing. Got it, got it. Nearly done. I'm glad the uh, explore circle is so big. Okay, go back up north. <laughs> There's that statue again. The Royal Burial Hall. Ow! 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 What? Okay, I think we've pretty much explored the entirety of the desert. Just like a few little patches here and there. But uh, overall, I think we've uh, covered pretty much everything of note on here. Yeah. As for where to go next. Go to the Temple of Set, I suppose. That's the gardens. Uh, that goes into another area.
that goes into another area. Oh, that's robes, right. That's where the Sphinx is. Uh, can't do anything with that. Let me see. What did that thing say? Mm, ancient burial hall. The guardian of the gate of the dead awaits. Is that the royal burial hall? I guess so. Uh, to the priestess, the mystic urn is given. Temple of Harvest shall be restored. So, okay, so the mystic urn, I'm guessing, is in the royal burial hall. We need to find a loot from somewhere to be able to start that whole quest, I think. Beyond the gates of the dead, all the stranger knows the way. Okay. Guess we go to like the Temple of Set or something. What's the map say? Let's see. Temple of Set. Ah! So those hands are a house, but uh, how would we get. How would uncover that? I don't know. Or maybe we go up. Well, we'll figure out things next time, I think. Let's go up here. As I said, I'll just probably wander around until I can find an area. If I get killed instantly, we'll turn around and go somewhere else. That's a central. <laughs> it is a troll. Fireball. There we go. And Blade. There we go. However, there's this guy here. You're not attacking us, and you're bleeding rather heavily, which is kind of surpri uh, surprising, considering you're a troll. And we can talk to you. Huh. Be still, young troll. No reason to match our strength against your injuries. Let us pass without trouble. It appears injured, this troll of the desert. What might have wounded it so that it cannot regenerate the damage? Yeah, sure. Whichever. No hurt I. No hurt I. Away, Nakrak say. Away, they say. Beat. Hit. Hit. Ankra, go away! No hurt, I. It appears injured, this troll of the desk. Yep, yep. Water, hurt! Not crack ring. Water, hurt! Knife in water. Fire, too. Teeth in water. Bite, Ankra. Cloth. In water, fire too. Hmm. Okay. Desert trolls. Uh, aside from how noble, along with how noble trolls are weak to fire and acid, are also weak to water. Which, yeah. Oh, there's a truck tour here. 
Uh, this young troll saved my life. He is an aberration and not evil like the others. Perhaps he knows where his brothers took my armor and supplies. Armor prize. They take two place. North place. Grave place. Grave place our home. Okay. No hurt eye? Is that a plea for us not to attack or a promise of good behavior? Is Nagrak the leader of the trolls? The one who banished poor Uncrag here? If I understand this creature correctly, he has been burned by water. It touch must be like acid to them. A useful point to keep in mind. Nagrak hate little man. He see you. He attack. He kill. Hit. 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 I know like him. Hmm. So that makes it sound like this guy is that guy, Nagrak, isn't a uh, troll. Unless he's a small troll. I guess this means that you can like throw water skins at them to hurt them. I should try that. Water Click. bad. Hurt. Hurt Uncrug bad. Little man make hurt go away. What are you talking about, Feek? Feek's rather little. He's so mad. Uh, he seems to understand us after a fashion. Perhaps we should take him along and dent his wounds. Such a strapping young lad might prove worth his weight in muscle. At least the son of a troll doesn't want to eat us. I say we leave it in peace and be gone now. I mean, he could join us. <laughs> Have him fight alongside him temporarily. Ankrug like you. Yes. Ankrug follow. Yes. I suppose that depends whether he's going to uh, leave or not. We just uh, quit out of this, and hopefully he'll still be there. I did make a save before I did this, yes. So, actually, that's. I was just making sure that I saved, but I did. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. What? Uh. Um. Do you, Ankrag, swear never to eat us to walk ahead? If we ask and spring traps whenever possible to be loyal, good, and true. <laughs> Just using him like a meat shield. Ungrug That's not would. very nice. Swear not, eat little man. Ankra stay till you mashed and buried. Okay, uh, we'll drop Justice it. of the desert. How slow witted oh, to Come on, why does everyone have to be so. Grumpy? A mistake as grand as any I've seen. You'll think the better of it. When you do, seek me out in the same area where first we met. Should you survive and return, you will have recovered my respect. You will be the wiser and not hesitate to accept my aid. Why does everyone get so snarky when you tell them to leave? I suppose because they think it's permanent. Good enough to wearing for me. Come along then, Aunt Krug, and perhaps we shall expend some of our resources to heal you as well. Water damage seems worse than the rest for you. You might not. You must not be able to regenerate from it. Yeah. He's a big lad. And he can't use any weapons, but I don't think he'd need to. He's also very injured. Okay, also his inventory. He can't carry as much stuff. What is he? A fighter, level 7, neutral good, desert troll male. Strength 18 to 100. 18 to 100. Dexterity 10, constitution 17, intelligence 5, wisdom 10, charisma 6. AC is 4, HP is 7 out of 60. Okay. Pick up some of these items though. Which had dropped on the ground. Because I want to carry this stuff if we get what's his name back in our party. <laughs> Yes, I can't even remember our party member's name. Party member's name. Uh, terrible, terrible. I cast heal. He'll be he'll gain regeneration. Oh, okay. Do we have heal? Let's see. Uh pray. We should. Yeah, there we go. Heal! We just got it. So we'll rest. He's fully reg fully healed up, but uh 
we go. I mean, yeah, okay, he's got regeneration. Ooh. You're loading your special armor. Oh, okay, so there is some armor for him? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, we now have a desert troll in our army. That's pretty neat. Ah, claw, claw. What's your hit points? 60. 65. Yeah, your city armor class isn't too good. There's another troll up there. Okay, well, I think we'll save it there. Uh, and we'll continue with this next time. Ah, we finished the obelisk and we wandered around the desert, discovered a whole bunch of stuff, and now we have a troll in our army. <laughs> we'll have to, I think we'll keep going north of here to uh, finish this thing from Farak tour and... What's his name? Uncrag. Unkeg? Can I call him Unkeg? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll keep going north of here and see what all this is about. At least then we'll be able to get Kruktur's, um armor back, or equipment back, because he is running around without a suit of armor on, and we can't give him armor because he's, well, he's not a humanoid. So, yes. Anyway. I think that will do for Stone Prophet for tonight. Do enjoy it quite a lot. Thank you very much for joining. And I hope you'll join me again when we continue with this.